step somewhere. <laughs> All right, welcome back from after halftime. Uh, joining us, uh, joining me again is my co-host Rogan. Uh, we're moving into the fifth round of the tournament. Uh, we're going to be bringing you Phantasmar versus a Unark. Versus so the load the up this Unark. ugly barcode motherfucker tank thing. No, apparently you can't load it because you have you have to just sit here and wait. Something like that. Oh, old Dunham. Old, old Dunham. Old man. The old man is gonna do squat. I, I'm I'm very heavily pitching this in favor of the tank. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah. <laughs> I I just feel like the Unark isn't gonna shoot, which has been its yeah, biggest Unark, issue all night. One may not shoot. Two may not flank. Three may not even pull off the shield. Yeah. Well, I think it'll shoot the shield, maybe. It might. Optimistically. We'll optimistically speaking, optimistically, I, I agree with you, though. Optimistically speaking, it will shoot the shield. If this match goes slow, we could do the golf commentary thing. We can do the golf commentary. <laughs> it's to make the matches more interesting. Something like that. Sometimes it's just a 10-minute cluster of <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple of pretty long ones, but they were also pretty tight. Pretty yeah, some of, the, some of the long ones were pretty much nail biters. Yeah. Uh, Alright, Unark. Let's see if the so, Unark, Unark is still demoralized. A, the the Unark may in fact still be demoralized from facing the Mega Slowbro. Right. Uh, I mean, Mega Slowbro just sort of sat there. It's pretty dangerous for sure. Yeah, it's the the lack of doing any type. Of it's got a very a very tried and true fighting style. You're not even sure if it's fighting back at all, but you just recognize that you're taking damage. It's it's the standing still meta. Yeah, and standing here, still. And here, and all here, right, here oh, comes the turrets the already. The New York shot something. Oh my God! Opening up with the sniper cannon. And they shot just there. got fucked by the sniper cannon. Yeah. What is this? Oh my God! New York, why? Why New York? Why did you get killed by uh, a sniper cannon? Don't shoot the turret, shoot the tank. Come on! You knocked yeah. backing off here. Oh, it's a little shot off. Was that a hit? It, what? It, it shot a building. Oh. You were you were hit by your own turret. That's fucking funny. <laughs> oh, hey, the Unark is now um actually it's doing damage. shooting. It's doing damage. It's, yeah. Oh my god! It's, it's actually doing the damage. The shield is coming out now, though. The Unark is damaging. The shield can is it, coming out. Can it break the shield off? That's the real question. It has, it has, the, it has the like two Mithoros left. It needs to nope. cut it back into the turrets. That's what needs to happen. Oh, Going nope. out of bounds here. Boundary Sama, perfectly okay with Unax. But we'll suck yes, the soul indeed. out of any living human. Uh, I can't suck the soul out of you, Unax. Right? I don't have Ooh, souls. That looked like it could have been a good hit, but no. Uh, it was really, really off on, on the here. It looks like the Unark may have a bit of the Goku side. Ooh, oh, that's a dangerous hit there. Oh, that was just a glance, or he hit it with like one of them. I think just that. one. Oh, another oh. glancing blow. He's got two bursts left in this. After that is the CEMG. I think Unark is on the ropes. He really needs to do I'm, something uh, about this KE. Unark is on its left, on its left legs here. Uh, it's got two Mithuras left in each. Two Mithuras break the KE shield, uh, which probably isn't going to happen. And here comes the CMG. I think this is curtains for oh, Unark. Oh, and it's oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, dear. God damn it, Unark. Unark taking a couple of direct hits there. Uh-oh. Shoot. Fire. Use the red lock. Unark Yay. cleaned up on oh, the... Uh, there goes the Unark. The, the CMG. CMG <laughs> for justice. I have the CMG pressure. God damn. Let's shout out to <laughs> Misadventures of JP. <laughs> Adventures. Presser Hank with. Yeah, press. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened, didn't it? Or was it a quad? It, I don't remember. it was what a tank or a heavyweight by. I think it was a heavyweight, too. a heavyweight sniper or something. Yes, <laughs> CMG <laughs> the CMG pressure. pressure. Oh my god! And we, we saw the CMG pressure used right here by Unix. Yep. Uh, except effective in, in, CMG in a, is very good at pressure. In all, um, in all eleven <laughs> shots that it fired <laughs> with the CMG. <laughs> Didn't really need a whole ton, did it? No. No, it did not. Alright, let's see what the map has to say about the next fight. I I I really think that the, the map isn't gonna 
is he going to help the eunuch that won't shoot? True, true. You know, Although, you, eunuch wasn't have... gun shy in that previous. Uh, no, the, the not by comparison match, to but... his usual matches. I think half time to uh, to yeah, uh, recover, readjust himself. recover himself a little bit, recover from that psychological damage dealt by uh, Mega Slowbro. Dealt by the Mega Slowbro. <laughs> and you know, honestly, I just I just hope that our, our boy Civil Star has not been uh, demoralized by Demoral Slowbro. You know, he fought well. Way. He fought real well. That was a, a match. Uh, one one of the better match matches for the in the record tournament. books. There. Match for the record books for sure. Oh, and here we have um here we Vorka have City. the Vorka map. And now if it's this if this is, match this goes anything like the previous ones, they're gonna be zoned out in the, the middle of the map here in the wide right in open the middle. and I think the tank will will take it. Yeah, I really can't uh I can't fashion rebuttal here. The Unark would have to pull something out pretty Indeed, and we just haven't seen that kind of close range combat that the uh the Unark really needs to pull out here against some of these fatter builds. No. No, it, ha it the potential is there. The potential is there, but it's just not. It just haven't not hasn't awesome. demonstrated the the fighting capability necessary to achieve it. It has it has no fighting spirit left though. Well, maybe it'll surprise us. Maybe it will surprise us. That's that's something we can look forward to. <laughs> Excuse me. There's still plenty of time left in the tournament for uh, for some kind of crazy. We're, thing we're only around. we're only about at the halfway point here. Yeah. Uh, this is when endurances will be tested. That's for sure. The the, the endurance of the machine. Um, and its mental <laughs> the capacity. The machine intelligence. <laughs> the machine intelligence. <laughs> All right. Once and... again, uh, very slowly moving towards the center of the map. They'll be circling um, around each the other. The Unark has decided to with just their fancy X-ray vision. Go straight into a wall and boost into it. Okay, and then a jump. How delightful. Our turret's coming out here already. Oh, well, a bunch of Athera's being rained down, but the shield is not out. This is some decent chip damage. The shield is deployed? Is that what shield I heard? Shield is not deployed. We are oh, laying that down turrets here currently on the, uh, the barcode sniper cannon heavy thing. Do the Unark needs that shield deployed so that it can break it and then actually inflict damage with a sniper rifle. That'd be helpful. Uh, oh, oh! A very punishing shot by the sniper cannon. You know, you need to kind of not try to face fuck the sniper cannon there. That's very uh, important, Rogan. Definitely a <laughs> choice commentary. Oh, another face fucking by the sniper cannon. It's like, oh my really god. Really not great. I mean, it, the, uh, the tank here has uh, shown that it's perfectly willing to put the sniper cannon up someone's pooper when they come close up. That's for sure. Although, you know what? I think the tide is changing here. Unark has dealt significant damage to this tank, but the shield is out. What are we looking uh -oh. at in terms of Mathura count? There's plenty of Mathuras left, but it actually needs to shoot them in order to break off the shield. That Will is important. Well, here comes some. Oh! Still, the shield is gone. The shield is gone. The shield is gone. This is the, the, Unark, the Unark. Oh, fuck. This is Arx Unark's time to shine. This is the time here, but it's decided to hide behind this building instead. Very true, um, Rogan. Uh, I think it is, it's trying to uh, escape that sniper cannon shot. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, it's a perfect oh. lined-up shot there. If he takes it, no, he misses. Fanta's unit. Oh. oh, taking some terrifyingly punishing Ooh. sniper fire there. Ooh. He's getting low not on AP, being kited back. It... He's not going to fire uh -oh. a sniper cannon at that range. We've no, seen this, this he... bug in this program before. Uh -oh. Firing at a turret, looking for it. But it, it looks like Ark may the take this. Ark Ar does not like that turret at all. He just decided to shoot it for no reason. Well, I guess turrets are pretty dangerous. Maybe the only thing that can really hurt him at this point. But if he runs... Uh, He's Once that sniper go... can out of ammo, he's gonna have to worry about that CMG. Does he have the AP for it? It's like killing a phantom when he has host. The tank while it has the sniper cannon. There you go. That's, that's very true. Yeah. More dangerous. He's gonna lead this tank around this corner. And then these buildings a good move by the the Unark, definitely. Uh oh oh! And he's he's blocked right into a turret. It's like the phantom tank is set up a trap for him. Oh uh -oh. no! Oh god, he's lined it up! Oh, oh, oh there it goes! Oh, 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 he let loose at that sniper oh, cannon. Oh, Barely tanked that last attack, went... living on the magic pixels, as it were. <laughs> and 205 then, um, AP remaining. Too close. That's what happens. The sniper cannon goes right up your pooper. That's <laughs> exactly what happens, Rogan. Now, we've seen several of these kinds of close matches before in this tournament. Now, this one being no exception. I'm pretty impressed by how the Unax have played this one out. I, I'm honestly surprised. I did not expect that to be such a nail-biter at that last second, and the turnaround, oh my. 
Who yeah, thought? yeah, that was that is what we call a a turn and burn gone wrong. He walked right into that <laughs> sniper. He walked right into that sniper cannon, charged R two, and uh, just it did not did not have the fortitude to withstand such a hit like that. He he didn't have the pocket poise ready to um, defend him against such a such an attack. He certainly did not. <laughs> what is that? It's just like fourteen k to zero. <laughs> yeah, fourteen k yeah, to was... zero. That was something ridiculous. That was pretty special. All right, uh, Urst's Heaven Piercer has a buy for this round. Um, next up is oh Silver my. Star versus the Mangler. <laughs> the Mangler, looking for his second this evening. Yes, uh, Silver Star will see if he's recovered from his last match. Uh, he may have been injured in the fighting. Uh, we'll we'll get back to you after the. All right, welcome back everyone to the uh, second match in the uh, the fifth round now between. The Mangler. Uh, Superstar Unic and the Mangler. <laughs> we're we're gonna see if the, the Silver Star has gone and um he's recovered some of that fighting spirit. He took a he took a beating there when he fought the slow bro. Yeah, that was uh, really a slugfest here. Out. Uh Vorka and, City uh, would be a good matchup for these two. Uh we'll see if he can if he can pull out a victory, this uh this this rookie. I, I against the Mangler. Lead, I actually wanna lead towards the uh the silver Silver Star winning this one. Just based yeah, Silver on, Star uh, got a lot of fighting spirit left. Uh, I think so. He's he's got really strong damage output with the, all that CE damage, and uh, the Mangler definitely has uh, substantial has... combat ability. But uh, he's he's been demonstrating below average performance in these past couple of matches. Very very below average performance. I think he's defeated exactly one of his opponents. You know, I, I think uh, what matters is his will to fight, and he's certainly stuck with it. I think he's a good sport. I think these two are going to have a great match. Back to you, Robert. Um, I, I think it's going to be a shit stop, but personally, that's just me. You know, I agree. If uh, <laughs> if, if Silver Star uh, can can put any of this experience that he's gotten in his last couple of matches uh, together, uh, I think it's it's there will be no contest. He's he's got a lot of strengths uh, that he can work with, and uh, you oh. know, I think he's got a great career ahead of him. Oh, the Mangler going right in, but suddenly he decided to stop and derp here this building. Really not fair. Oh, okay, and he's, and he's going around the building. here as well. Uh, this Unac, uh, pretty determined to that to approach and then back off, off this and then approach wall. and back off. Has a wide-angle mm, FCS there, with his howitzers. This amuses a, me, but I guess it might be useful. This is There's a wall to hump here. Um, <laughs> there's a wall to hump. Oh, 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 oh here it begins. Oh, oh, no, a kick! A kick attempt from the Mangler. I don't think we've seen one of those before. I've, I haven't seen a kick from the Mangler yet this evening. This is a first. Oh, uh, being stunned here by these high speeds may be, make it difficult for uh, Superstar to get in. Oh, a good glide boost rush there. Glad it's a little bit of rocket damage off. Glancing hit. Glancing oh, blows, oh. glancing blows. He's oh, firing his rockets. Really blowing his load there. Substantial support. attack. And here he goes uh -oh. again. Oh, getting some, some howitzer fire. That 3BR, though, doing some substantial damage. Dodging these high speeds here. It needs uh -oh, to be careful. Uh -oh, it needs to finish uh -oh. this he, round he soon. Needs to close in. It needs to close uh -oh. in. Get some flanks. Oh, nearly a kick there. Very dangerous. Silver Star proving he's a dangerous opponent once again. Oh, this Howie hit could be big. Nope. A uh -oh. little bit of damage here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. Being the stunned. Three is just Taking the three BR. No, the Silver Star needs to get in there. Uh oh. Oh, big oh. hit there. Big hit. Big hit. Needs one more of these. Finish it out. Oh, 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 oh a I... kick nearly. Uh -oh. oh my goodness. Oh, oh, and there it is! The howitzer finishing it off. Silver Star there with a rocky start, but he takes it through at the end. <laughs> what, what is with all these last-minute comebacks? It's like they've uh, they've developed minds of their own. They're unwilling to take the loss and move on. <laughs> I think it's just the nature of the tournament, Rogan. They just uh, they, <laughs> Unix want to fight. They're built for it. Specially engineered. They may even. Uh, Feeling each other out in these previous fights, they've been watching each other's games, their matches. Uh, I think they're they're taking some data into account. And, and uh, now, we've seen now that they're ready here. to just get down to business. Yeah, they're, they're just getting down to business now. They're they're getting right dirty. They're doing some wrestling. <laughs> oh, God, don't start that. Don't start. That. <laughs> don't start. Don't start. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I can't. I'm about to start making 
making wrestling jokes. And no, no. All right, we can, we'll just stop it right there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna cut it, cut it, cut the snake off at the head, yeah. as it were. We don't right, want any cave. strong, sweaty snakes going in. No, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> This is just getting worse and worse. <laughs> Pretty much. So Silverstar here, uh, a great showing the last time he was on this map. Uh, and definitely a lot of not... verticality in the level. Uh, both parties can make <laughs> use of that. Really that 3BR, very either. dangerous, though. Needs to be careful about that when moving in. Silverstar likes to be in uh, right up in his opponent's face. But if he can't make these Howie shots count, it's it's going to be difficult. And uh, the Mangler is yeah. definitely one to uh, to have consistent damage output uh, at these, these close ranges. If only he would stick to uh, we have, if, if only he would uh, stop cycling his shield during these damage output phases, I feel like he would, might be a strong contender. Uh, but, know, uh, Rogan, I, I agree with you. Uh, the Mangler! Weighing in and quite substantial for heavyweight, but good attacking options. Uh, just with a couple of defects, but he's he's worked them into his into his uh, combat style. He's proven effective against. Uh, they're mostly so they're mostly mental defects here. There's you're not right, a lot right. that can be done for the mental defects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dark Horse determines oh, Silverstar. Can Mangler's he take this right win? Angler's going right. Nope, that's a wall to hump. Mangler. Oh, and here he goes. Here he goes. The three really big Howie hit work hit early on here. Oh my! Ooh, no! Oh, ooh. Ouch! Ooh! He went for those high speed moves. He's stunning, staggering, he really dangerous for his it. midway. Really bit of a glance. Really racking up damage up right now with that Calendula. Ooh! And here comes Silverstar, blood boosting believe... over, looking like he's gonna try to get in. I'll eat some high speeds. I do so believe the Calendula doing damage. Is... Oh, a oh. big hit there! Here come the rockets. Silverstar firing on all cylinders. Here, backing off a little bit. Needs to get back into combat range. Take his high speeds. Ouch! Uh oh, and here comes. Really fire! Really fire! The shield! Fire. The shield. Oh, oh, a big hit! Oh, the rockets! There's the rockets! Oh my God! Oh, and the three BR. Oh, oh man, another big hit the there. Three BR cannot. No, it certainly oh, cannot. This is going to be a close fight again, I think. Oh, way. big damage there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's in line for that Oh, uh -oh the there Howie it is. Oh. A good jousting hit from those heat howitzers takes the Mangler out of the fight. The, once again, the Mangler has shown a, a good effort for participation. but uh, a, great, a great participatory <laughs> effort. Really bruised up uh, Silver Star's Unac there. Um, going to take a while to buff that paint. Uh, got got a lot of chipping going on there. Well, you know, at sometimes you just gotta repaint and let the buffs be. Yeah, I concur, Rogan. Sometimes it, it adds <laughs> the character of the eunuch. That uh, you know, that's why uh, the Mangler seems the to Mangler! Have, uh, have gone in. <laughs> uh, I've lost it too at this point. Oh my god. Moving, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Silverstar takes that one. Uh, why can't I? I can't select this. Please let me select this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Who's the next, who, who are the next victims? That's oh the real question, god. Rogan. That, that is the question. I can't seem to fucking select this bit of text that I need to select here. <laughs> well, so I can't give Silverstar the buy without selecting this piece of shit. Or not the buy. The Teach you to try and select something. God fucking damn it. You done goofed. Uh, yeah, I fucked something up here. Good job. Oh, we have Barely versus Ahab. Oh, boy. That should be an interesting one, for sure. Mm. I mean, they, how many is Ahab one? This is really not a, not a particularly strong right. showing. For I guess the, I that. Okay, so Belly versus Ahab, yeah. Uh, the opposing he... uh, Belarus eunuch. Right there and, we uh, are. Yeah, I've, I've brought the opponent eunuch, uh, and we're looking forward to another another fight here. Although I believe this one's gonna be incredibly one-sided. Don't you agree, Rogan? I, I am inclined to agree with you. Given the evasiveness that we've seen out of um, the aptly named five Belarus eunuch, uh, I don't believe that it's uh, the... What the hell is this emblem? The gingerbread dick is going to be able to... <laughs> it, it, it his, uh, it, he will not be asserting his dominance today. Proper spacing. 
Yeah. Uh, additionally, I, we have continuously seen the uh, scan mode glitch here where the Legion Pulse creature cannot exit scan mode in order to execute a Legion Pulse. So, I don't really foresee this as being a very strong showing for him. It's just not in his favor at all. Yeah, certainly not. It's uh, His execution's been really off today, uh, this evening, and you know, uh, against such an evasive opponent, I don't know really if he stands a chance, but he may prove his mettle yet if, uh, if he gets a really lucky, uh, lucky kickoff. I'm not really sure it has kick chips. Dash, uh, at that, uh, you know what? We can believe, Rogan. <laughs> we can indeed believe that something will happen. Something. I, I, be I believe that, um, I do believe that it's already gone and stuck itself into the scan mode. That is probably yep. not great. Yep, yeah, it, it is in fact stuck completely in scan mode here. Um, yes. Well, the Bella Rose Unique, uh, thankfully very well equipped to deal with, uh, targets which are not fighting back. Especially those that are, uh, weak to snipers. Well, you know, that's just the uh, thing. He appears to be outturned at the moment. Oh, there he is. He spotted him. And, uh, oh, and he, but he screwed up enough that the oh, no. Legion Pulse has been uh, the activated. The Legion Pulse activated. He dilly-dallied too long here, but will he damage race too him out? Too much dilly-dallying. I wonder what could happen um, here. We may I'm see really a, sure a double kill. No, I think he's going to die to this next couple shots. Will he take uh, him? Oh, he, he's, he's he taking one. He, he blew his load. He, he blew his load. He blew his load. He blew his load. And effectually blew his load. And the, the perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's what happens when you blow too early, and ineffectually. Ineffectually, uh, it's uh, I just impacted on the surface. <laughs> I swear, we're not drunk. <laughs> we just have been drinking. <laughs> Shh. Shh. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. Hey, look, it's a from train. Indeed it is. Yo, Do you think Crumb Chan would have any insight? <laughs> would have any insight into this UNAC tournament? <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, let's see what the next here. map gives us. Oh shoot! And then uh, at the end of round six, I mean uh, round five, pardon me, we have a, a very anticipated match. Uh, which uh -oh. will be against, uh, yeah, it'd be Mega Slowbro yep. versus Ziggy, which will be very intense, I suppose. That, these, that, these two have gone both undefeated, is that correct? That is correct. We have the two undefeated uh, ready to slug it out for championship here and see who mo continues moving on. It oh, stupid ass computer. Commentary. Stupid ass computer. Stupid ass fucking computer. If you don't fucking. There it goes. <laughs> uh, my train of thought just completely derailed on me there, Sash. I, uh, don't worry you're about gonna it. have to forgive me on that. We'll have plenty of time to think during this battle. <laughs> <laughs> during the excruciatingly long and painful match that will be Ziggy versus Mega Slowbro. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a pretty crazy one. Well, I don't want to spoil too much about what's going to happen there, but I've got some uh, some thoughts on that one. Oh, he's got some be... thoughts, I see. Yeah, dangerous. Dangerous thing of thoughts. But uh, going on to our current match, I can simply see that the Ahab unit may choose to drown itself <laughs> rather than uh, fight the Burlia. <laughs> he's an egg. That would be the honorable decision to make. Uh, I don't know what Ahab has in store here. His Unac, uh I think he's going to give it the old college try. The Belly Rose Unac, uh, looking good in black and pink uh, with his anime emblem. Uh, looking forward to uh, to meme on this tryhard. I I I um I don't know there, Sash. I I really think that the the Ahab Unac is just gonna uh, fall on its face again, um, at, or on its uh on its gingerbread man dick, as it were. Well, you know yeah, what, gingerbread is a pretty sturdy material. I'm sure it'll hold up well in this soluble soluble water. And uh, uh, it's once it... again gone and forced itself into a scan mode glitch. Uh, it takes the energy to get around 80% before it'll get out of that little scan mode glitch. And uh, the last time that happened, it was only just barely those unique daily dally for a while. 
Uh, this time that just doesn't seem to be the case. You know, Belarus but... Unek, this is the second kick so far. I believe he's going for a, a, a very potent meme kill. That will certainly demoralize the competition if they're, wa if they're watching it this time. They're, well, here it is. What, it looks like a good opportunity there. What better way to demoralize nope. someone than to kick their ultimate weapon in the face? That's very true, Rogan. Very true. Uh, you know, I, I really want to see that out of him. Uh, a good good and sportsman it, will definitely the attempt off. it. Because his opponent certainly has no chance. Oh, there's a third kick there. Oh, let's see if we can hit it. Another one. Uh... That was your quick enough but, uh, to do it, but, but no connections. Three no kicks. connections. No we've con seen we've seen a lot of kicks so far this tournament. Uh, very impressive. Uh, there's a uh, fourth one rather ineffectual. Impressive. We've Snipers, seen some impressive kicks. That's true, but the the Belarus do not seem to be up to pace on the kicks here compared to its brethren. Well, oh, you take I that shit back, Rogan, soon. because it looks like he just landed I it. I mean, uh... spoken just too soon. <laughs> it took him five. It took him five attempes, but uh, well, it you know what? He, he gave it a good try, and he, he got the hit, and that's what matters, Rogan. He, he gave it the try, and he got the hit to connect. That's just as good as pretending that, that it carried. True. That's very true. He got the hit to connect. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't enough to finish oh. off the um, the gingerbread Legion Pulse creature. Um, but he was able to clean up there with his sniper rifle, so I yeah, suppose... Yeah, we, we definitely we'll, cannot... Oh, I forgot to... Perfect! Move on. We, I, I can't, simply can't oh. disparage him there for not getting the kill with the kick. Uh, he's, he's a Robbie, a real lightweight. Uh, against this kind of wrestler, it's it's real difficult to, to break off a chunk of... What did I just like say that, about but, uh... wrestlers? What did I just say about... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's get a commercial! All right, so this should be a really interesting match. These two uh, two eunuchs have gone undefeated so far. Undefeated the in this tournament. First time they're meeting in this round robin tournament. At, well, here we are at the Opal Caves. Now, um, if I had to guess, this eunuch is going. This is going to uh, hinder the rushing performance of Ziggy. But we have seen that uh, Silverstar was able to rush upon the Mega Slowbo quite easily in this environment. So it's game. I think it's anyone's game for sure. Uh, now, Ziggy, weapons analysis-wise, really only has those VTFs to rely on. And, of course, Mega Slowbro has two KE shields. A lot of effective AP to chew through. And Ziggy's only going to be attacking with uh, 3BRs and uh, PMGs. And I don't believe that will be doing a ton of damage. But he's contending with the Laser, Gatling, and Pesty Fire. Now, as I understand it, Ziggy actually has the KE defense that this Mega Slowbro isn't going to be doing too much damage to him either. So it's really going to come down to who manages that AP better, and if anyone lands a fucking everything that we set out the window. Right. Because <laughs> computers are prone to do such things. That's for sure, Rogan. That's for sure. <laughs> I think uh, Ziggy will have the edge here if it manages to get behind uh, Mega Slowbro and outturn it. However, on this map, again, a lot of verticality, and uh, that, that may result in adverse behavior here. Indeed, it might. The, the verticality of the map definitely favors the size of the map. And, uh, the, well, I, that's because my, uh, my mic was... Uh, the bad. verticality here favors the odd over the heavy one. Certainly uh, does. All big they're ETFs there, but, uh, the, the Gatling gun may screen him a little bit, I think. Yes, indeed. The Gatling, if the Gatling gun can counteract the ETF, that's going to take a... That's going to take a lot of load off. Ooh, a big volley of ETFs hit there. That's good. More VTFs well, going into the quad. Uh, Ziggy needs to get in there. Ooh, oh, another it big looks volley like there's VTFs. one KE shield out of the... Yeah, those Pesty is actually doing a lot of damage to Ziggy here. Got to take out oh, the shield. Oh, he does just in time KE. for another volley. Oh, he has dumped both the shields out here. So Mega Global is down to it just... It's a damage race what? now for certain. Indeed, indeed it is. And, ooh. I believe Ziggy is actually using both 3 oh, bars here. He's not using this is, his. This uh, is very, very. Easy. Yeah, he's not using his PMG. Uh, no, but it's it, just going to be ineffective 3 bars. Oh, a kick! Oh, two ooh. kicks! Oh. They're exchanging blows here. Neither kick connects. Neither kick Neither connects. Kick connects. I think Ziggy's oh. not going to be pulling this through. Just those ineffective ooh. 3 bars. Not very high DPS. No, no, but uh, at the same time, Gatling Gun. Uh, oh! Oh wow, that has a lot launch. of TE defense. <laughs> yeah, it's got like 1600 yeah, TE 16 defense. defense. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, even no care about plasma. Yeah, he really doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, a close match there, direct damage race. Uh, a lot of damage output coming out of Ziki, but it's just not enough. Those those just, dual 3BRs just, do not do the damage that he needs. A little bit short. 
it broke through bro both the shields, but it just fell a little bit short at the at the end there. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, could have been a couple of really close kicks. Would have been interesting. Could be spice things up. We'll see what the next match has in store. I believe a different map could lead indeed. to different results. A different map may indeed skew the results in one way or another. Now, a word from our sponsor, Vanille. Word from who? <laughs> the uh, the Vanille logo just showed up, so I was like, oh, now a word for our sponsor. Ah. I know, lame joke. Uh, maybe maybe if they would sponsor us and cough up some cash th so that Sash could buy all the UNAC part, uh, all of the UNAC slots, and we didn't have to keep going into these load screens over and over. <laughs> that would be a little bit much, wouldn't it? Oh, we are now on old the old dawn. Yeah. How the contestants make use of this. This is going to turn straight into a damage race from let go. That's for sure. Now, I believe uh, if the KE shields can sponge enough damage, um, Mega Slowbro will win again because uh, Ziggy absolutely needs those VTFs to connect. Well, the other thing that can trouble the VTFs is if the Gatling gun stays on him. That's for sure as well. Ziggy absolutely needs a flank this time to beat this quad. <sighs> Now, last last match, if I'm not mistaken, Ziggy was able to get a good flank on the Mega. Uh, temporary temporary attack, but you know, really, the ineffective three BR is not very high damage. <laughs> that that's very true, but uh, when you can't see around your own man boot, it makes it very difficult to gauge where your is, and that gave quite a bit of time for three B damage, even if it's not a lot. You know, a little play over the course of the whole match. You know, that's definitely for sure, Rogan. Uh, if, if you cannot retaliate against your opponent for a period of time, it's, it's a lot of free damage pouring in. It could be very problematic. Indeed, indeed. Oh, and it looks like the combatants are set. Alright, and here we go. They're going after each other. Yep, here they go. Please. Ziggy glide boosting in very, very tentatively. Looks like the fighting may take place in the open here or in these little mini apartment Ooh. structure kind of things. I uh -oh, see a KE shield all already. Yeah. Oh, and, uh oh, VTF, big hit from those VTF. But uh, he's taking a good chunk of SD damage too. Okay, he shield for now, but a little slow on it. Uh oh. Ooh. And the 3BR has taken off the KE shield. Oh, he's got that flank again. Yeah, Ziggy dealing some damage to himself here. Uh-oh, well that's kind of one of the Suicidally downsides aggressive of Suicidally aggressive and downside of BTFs, of course, Rogan, yep. Uh-oh. Here we go, uh, now it's going to be coming down uh, to a zoning match. behind the damage race now. Gonna lose oh, and these the, Gatling the Gatling gun on him. The Gatling gun on him, that can yeah, really... Yeah, the Gat really screening yeah. a lot of these missiles. Ooh, Ziggy not and in a position where he can do a ton of damage. Again. Needs to keep flank here. Stuck in some buildings. Right over, uh, shooting right over the buildings. Pesties are not being bothered by the buildings for those who kind of got lost not. and went off somewhere. Ziggy got not his really gata, or his uh, his shield out now. He may go for a kick here, but that's about all he's got. Oh, and we see that the pesties are proving ineffective in this close environment. Ziggy, please oh, yellow and kick. kick. There's the kick. Please kick. There's oh, the, oh, nope. So much for that. Nope. No YOLO kick there, I'm afraid. Uh, All right, and uh, Mega Slowbro down. takes it 2-0 against Ziggy. I'll be, I'll be. The the disgusting flat blob is just outlasting everything that can at it. You know, that's uh, for it, sure. A uh, lot of slugging power there from Ziggy, but uh, really just ineffectual against all that blob. All of the defense and AP that the, the Mega Slowbro has to burn. Yeah, you know, those, you know, those uh, fat water types with high physical defense, very difficult to get through for battle rifles. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. It's especially when they've got uh, men, they can't see over them. If you just take a, a quick look here at, at the at the slow row, it can't see over its two man tits. It can't see its own shoulders. So I'm amazed it can aim. But fortunately, <laughs> it has enough uh, HP that it, can, it doesn't really have to. It just has to hold the triggers and wait for people to screw up. Well, very well said, Rogan. Now let's move into the next match. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to spin the. Sweaty, the sweaty young buff's wrath. Okay, folks, we're coming back to you now in round six of the tournament. Uh, this will be a fight between the Unark and uh, Silver Star's Unark. Uh, now, this, this could is... be anyone's game, I believe. Isn't that right, Rogan? 
I'm not sure here, Sash. Given that the the Unarch has been so demoralized, it hasn't fucking won a game since it uh, beat up Belarus's Unarch on a tie point. Uh, that I have I have to lean towards the Silver Star. You know what? I think you may be right here. Silver Star on his his in his element here on Opal Cave. Really, he's he's been given the previous competitors real hell here uh, on this map. Uh, it's definitely plays to his strengths. Indeed, he's shown that he's not one to be taken lightly at all. That's for certain. Now, I believe the Unarch here, uh, in a good fighting position, can uh, you definitely use his Buria boosters to dodge these uh, these CE warheads coming his way. But uh, we'll Indeed, see if Silver Star is able to get close. I don't think that uh, his Mathuras do effective damage to the Silver Star. I believe they don't. He's I left believe... Yeah, Silver Star has got about 1,700 CE defense. Those Mathuras will just Which be Which leaves plank. him with two sniper rifles that uh, he doesn't like to shoot. Now, that's true, Rogan. Uh, <laughs> the the Unarch definitely different. does not seem to enjoy shooting his sniper rifles. For whatever reason. This makes it very difficult for him to damage it. a bit of HP for the, the Unarch to get through. That's true. Uh, the, the Unarch has to get through 40k's worth of HP, uh, or AP, pardon me, and, uh, yes, and that the... may prove difficult for Blue Lock snipers. On the uh, Unarch like seems this. confused. It's looking the wrong way. Oh, okay, it fixed itself. And uh, here we go. Well, Unarch taking first blood there. Uh, getting first a good blood, 5k I'm... burst off. Oh on my! Oh that's my! Some substantial Look at damage. That. That's quite a bit of damage there. The damage will definitely start adding up, and you know, Silver Star, uh, not having Maybe... any predictive aiming, needs to get real lucky with these. Uh, these heat howitzers, or else he may not find himself do any damage. Unar wisely back. The Unar. Ooh, the Unar has uh, has stepped up its game. It's now firing its weapons. I'll yep. be. You know, uh, the purpose of having sniper rifles, Rogan, is to uh, to fire them at the enemy, and uh, the the Unar is that... definitely making use of that. That's very true. Uh, complete opposite from what we've seen in its other matches. Oh, it's out of Mathuras now, so it has to rely on those sniper. Uh, still well, has it looks like it's using the snipers to great effect. It may get a perfect here if it if it manages to maintain its its pattern of attack. It it, may, it might get a it might get a perfect. Oh my goodness! Oh my. A big hit there! Big oh, hit! Oh, 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 oh my. there it goes! Finishes him oh, off just in time. There it goes. You're not taking cool. a real haymaker there at the end, but but managing to clear it out. That that was a little too close for comfort. I didn't think that uh, that the Unarch was gonna pull through once the Silver Star. Oh fuck! The Silver Star got close in there. Yeah, Silver Star is Unarch very dangerous away. up close. Very dangerous up close, but uh, does not always have the best fire rate when it gets into close range. Or target acquisition. No, indeed, indeed it doesn't. Indeed it doesn't. It really just like the Phantasmar Smash Cannon. And Stuffing the uh, heat howitzers up its opponent's pooper, and well, if it can't get close enough to do that, no, well, that's all she wrote. Let's see if it helps in the next one. Was that a perfect? No, that wasn't a perfect. No, that was not it's a perfect. The took a pretty terrible hit there. Unperfect. <laughs> I'll unperfect it. Unperfect. <laughs> I wonder if we get different maps if I pick things like Data Hijack. Uh, I wouldn't mess it up. Another Got Opal, Opal Cave. Caves, <laughs> caves <Okay>. again. <laughs> well, we have Opal Cave a second time. Indeed, indeed. And uh, the Opal Cave has been uh, particularly kind to the Silver Star here on this last encounter. Uh, the the Unarch sure. was able to just bounce all over the place and, well... Then all fucking hell broke loose at the very end, but at that point it was too late. That's Just for sure. Silver Star late. really needs to make situations like that happen again if he's going to have any chance in this fight. Otherwise, Burrier Brewster Unarch is going to be uh, very evasive. A small target to hit. Indeed, very small target to hit, but uh, sometimes those little leg butterfly sting like bee targets are the most dangerous. Well, that's for sure, Rogan. Especially when they pump people full of Mathuras and die, they, they die. Yeah, Mathuras, even though they're they're ineffective here, still very dangerous in conjunction with those sniper rifles. Indeed, the Mathuras did a surprising amount of danger, but... La, la, la. It's okay. The Mathuras did a surprising amount of damage last game. I'm having a very hard time keeping this strange Rattler accent. And, uh... <laughs> oh, you're bringing up that time. 
<laughs> All right, little Cento that could versus the uh the Unart. <laughs> little Cento that could. <laughs> oh, that God, that's now the, that's now the name of this eunuch. I couldn't even. The little Cento that could. <laughs> the little Cento. Oh, Unart apparently refusing to fire his weapons. Oh, there it goes. First blood again. Oh, there get it goes. A good hit off here. You know what? You know what? I think it might be here, uh, fascist. Unart only fires its weapons within a certain range. Oh, uh, that range he may have power not... chips or what? Uh, that range is not the equivalent of its uh, FCS lock distance. Ah, interesting. I see oh, what you're saying. Well, look, uh, so far it's been dealing a lot of damage here to the little Sinto that could. In indeed, uh, I'm it is. But he's, he's he needs to get in a good position here. I'll get in some damage. Ooh, oh, good hit there. Big hit. Yeah, uh, he's he's evening this up here. a little bit in terms of AP. Um, I'm missing a howitzer shot here. Really needs to finish this guy off while he can. Oh, a big hit there! Oh. That looked like it hurt. Only a lot. He's barely got anything left. But Only a lot, he, he says. That's some substantial damage. A little Sinto that could. Needs to get in there once more, deal some damage with these heat howitzers. Get in there, little Sinto that could. Go for uh, it, little Sinto. Oh, oh my goodness, go. he's got oh, no my. health at oh, all. That oh, my good. God. That oh, there he is! There Clipped goes. by a rocket! Oh, my goodness. And it looks like and we're going to go into a third round here, folks. We're going into overtime. We're going into overtime. Could has gone and uh, proved that once again he can. He can. He can. He can. Little Cinto that could. <gasps> I love. <gasps> oh my God! That needs to be. That needs to be like a thumbnail for one of these. The little Cinto that could. I believe it. <laughs> I believe. I believe in the little Cinto that could. <laughs> That's so glorious. Into overtime. Into overtime. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> uh, all right, folks, we're bringing it back for the final match of the uh, the Unark versus the little. The Sinto little that Sinto could. that could versus the Unark here. The Unark, and, yes. Uh, Vorka City, Vorka interesting City. map choice. May uh, may make it for something different, although. With with the resulting lack of verticality in the areas of this map, it may be the case that the the Silver Star Unic is able to come through here. That's very true, Sesh. The lack of verticality on this map very definitely favors the little. Sin but that's the, for uh, sure, Rogan. You know the the lack of uh, the Unic's utilization of the up and downness of the level uh, really <laughs> <is> subst <laughs> substantially contributes to the effectiveness of the howitzers and the heat rockets. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, here's the Linto Sinto that could weighing in at uh, approximately kind of a fucking ton of bricks as a Sinto, honestly. Versus uh, a very featherweight, 400 and something high boost uh, lightweight over here. Uh, the Unart. <laughs> You know, I know we're in a tiebreaker round, but it's all said that a good big man will beat a good smaller man. And uh, not in the fun way, folks. Sorry, that's not the type of beating we're discussing. Uh, but this is a this is a chance for the little Sinto that could to prove that. That's for sure, but you know, uh, the the Unarch has been very well able to chew through uh, that 40k of the, uh, the little Sinto that could pretty easily. That's true. That's true. He's shown a very consistent ability to chip through. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh there oh, it is. Oh, Here oh, comes there, the, there, the, the early burst. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, these snipers definitely doing some damage. Oh. Oh goodness. That was close. That Evading was close, that completely. Not... Oh, and the kick. And the kick. I think he. Yeah, he must have landed he, that there. He let. He landed that kick for about half HP. A little substantial attack that could. there for sure. Yeah, little center that could proving his fight. Oh, oh, a big howitzer hit. Oh no, more oh, just a glancing blow. Here come the rockets. More, more Will he catch the Unark? The That's the real question here. Real close damage oh, race. My. Oh my goodness, another little glancing blow. He's got 5k off of him. Unark needs to fire his last couple of throws. Needs to make every shot count. Oh, oh yo, it's a face full of it. Oh my god, the little center.